I am a social epidemiologist, so that means that I look at the social determinants of health. So the social determinants of health um, are defined by uh, the World Health Organization as um, the conditions in which we are born, grow, live, uh, work, and how we interact with each other in, in society. There's unequitable access to the social determinants of health. So for example, a social determinants of health is, uh, is housing, um, is income, is access to parks, um, to social goods. As we know that income inequality has been increasing um, in Canada and in the United States and, and in the developed world, OECD countries, um, through the last, since the, since the 80s, these increases in income inequality um, could have uh, um, adverse health effects. When you have large gaps within, um, within a society, it, um, these societies less likely fund social programs such as healthcare programs, uh, physical activity programs, community programs that we know that are beneficial to our health. When you see that huge disparity, um, you know, it's, you want to find out why. Um, from my perspective, I want to find out why. So epidemiology is a good way to, to, to look at patterns quantitatively and to help come up with answers. My name is Roman Pabayo and this is Public Health. <laughs>